Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you my main monthly favourites. I wasn't going to do a video like this, but I actually was going through a few of my um, items that I'd been using this month and I thought to myself, you know what, like there's some really cool things here that I've been really loving. So I thought why not make a monthly favourites to pass on to you guys what I'm loving at the moment. If you're interested in finding out what they are, please keep watching. So today I'm going to start with my first monthly favourite, which is my Medicaid Retinol Drops. The last week I've actually been having um, microdermabrasion and LED lights. Um, it's been fantastic, but I can show you on another video my thoughts on that if you'd like to know. So leave me a message in the comment bar. And I was suffering from having quite a lot of breakouts, um, but not even pimples, they were more of your um, blind pimples and I've, I've been pretty lucky like I haven't had very bad skin like I break out every now and then but it's not something that happens to me a lot so you know to get a blind pimple I was sort of a bit like oh god so she actually suggested um, for me to use these drops and what it is is it's a vitamin A and what what she recommended for me to do was take one drop rub it onto the area and um, sleep with it overnight and then in the morning put another coat on and just do that each day until I feel like it's you know gotten a little bit better anyway within the first day I woke up and it had gone down significantly like it was huge like I'm not gonna lie it was like a freaking planet on the side of my face so for me to wake up in the morning and it had halved I was dying I thought what the hell this stuff is just like insane like I couldn't believe it so it's from the brand Medicaid the particular thing is retinol 3 and it is advanced night serum this is so I was really keen to check out Cambodia's stand um, while I was there I, I looked at a couple of the different things and I don't know like at the moment like I just feel like well back then I just kind of felt like what is life like I, I can't even find my holy grail foundation so at the moment I am just on this massive hunt just to find my holy grail foundation and honestly I think I found it the Kat Von D locket tattoo foundation um, I just feel like it is it is everything like Sometimes I must admit though like during the day like I feel It's a bit too heavy. So what I generally do is I have a um, My normal foundation that I use on a daily basis prior which is the true match and um, Sometimes if I if I want like more of a full coverage, but nothing too dramatic I'll mix the two together and I find I get the perfect consistency it's not too thick but it's also not too too dry either because this is a matte foundation and so is the true match I guess but I just feel like it's a really good balance and you know when I'm going out on a Saturday night like whether it's out for dinner dancing with the girls going for drinks like whatever it is you always want your foundation to sit that a little bit more and just set that little bit more so I just find that with this Kat Von D foundation it just gives you everything I mean I can I can appreciate that it may not be for everybody but my personal opinion I just feel like this is just everything definitely I would recommend this product so yeah next is the uh, Maybelline instant age rewind um, dark circle eraser I suffer really badly from dark circles um, around my eyes no matter what I do I just never seem to be able to get rid of them whether it's having enough sleep having enough water blah 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 like I always just seem that I suffer from um, having you know dark circles so I was on YouTube and somebody was talking about this particular product um, and I thought you know what for the price I think it worked out to be like $16 or something I thought well no I'll just give it a go um, it's really cool like it has like a little um, like foam top I usually do like a triangle section underneath my eyes and I like pat it on with my damp beauty blender 
and just sometimes if I find like it's really bad like I might put a little bit more just in the corner here but I definitely I recommend this this is a great product um, price point it's unreal and um, like I said you know for someone like me who suffers from the dark circles it's been great like I don't feel like they're peeping through you know halfway through the day and as long as I'm setting it with my powders um, it doesn't budge so yeah good good product to try anyway next is the Laura Mercier um, secret brightening powder um, this is something that I bought honestly like on a whim I just happened to pass the um, Laura Mercier counter and I have seen a little bit um, online about Laura Mercier like their their pressed powders and their, their other products um, but I just find that um, sometimes like I was just on the hunt for something that will really brighten up the my under eye area when I put my concealer on um, and honestly this is it the only problem that I do have with it is that because it is so fine the powder and they've got such quite large holes like if you're if you're traveling um, I would probably keep the little sticker that comes there just to so you can put it back because so many times I've opened it and things have just gone everywhere but I have to say I've been using this every day every day I've used it and um, it's now one of my staples in my makeup routine next product as you can tell we all know what's wrong with me she has a problem and it is called tanorexia as much as I try I try so hard I've been tanning since high school you guys like honestly I there is nothing in this world that I would love more than to not have orange hands and wrists like it is gross and I get it like I see it on other girls and I'm like oh doll, why do you do that for and I know I do it too but so if there's anyone out there that can give me some red hot tips on how not to get orange hands or orange palms that would be fantastic because it will be the bane of my existence but anyway, life goes on and Lee is still going to use tan. I have used every single tan known to man. Like literally. Like I think I have a container just over there that has probably about 30 bottles of tan. That is way too many. But when you're pale and you are looking for the tan that will completely and utterly change your life all you whiteys out there will know exactly what I'm talking about my most favorite tan that I have used right now has to be the loving tan deluxe mousse in ultra dark as usual or you could probably get it in the dark but I've never really tried it because let's face it I want to be ultra dark so yeah it is a natural olive color I'm actually wearing it right now but I probably went a little bit too crazy with the coats um, because I do that but anyway um, yeah out of all the tans that I've used I, like I get it like I look a little bit you know goldy at the moment but um, sometimes with the lighting it does tend to make it look a bit orange but I don't really look this orange in real life with this one it it does go on really dark so when you're putting it on you can actually see where you're putting it and I mean I used to be a massive massive spray tanner and but every single Friday <laughs> yeah my mum used to actually say to me like when are you going to get over it like when are you gonna let go and I'm like never <laughs> No, really I have moved on from the spray tan simply because these days with the way that they're making the um, mousse mousse tans I'm actually preferring those over my spray tans which is really shocking it lasts really really nicely and it wears really nicely which I think is another big thing for us tanners like we don't want to look like we've got a skin disease like ill if you are a tanner and you are on the market to look for something that you find won't go to orange I would definitely recommend this to you um, it is definitely something that um, I can't live without now so next hair product um, B 
being blonde, having straight hair, having curled hair, all of that type of jazz. As a hairdresser, we try and recommend to all of our clients, you know, to be using like a heat protectant styling spray. Um, it's something that can be your best friend. So I just think it's something that should be put in your hair every single time that you wash it and it should be something that you do without even really thinking about. I actually just stumbled upon um, this TG called a hot iron spray. Um, what I actually really like about this one is it's actually got a built-in um, shine spray which is really cool. I wash my hair maybe twice a week and that's enough for me like I don't like to you know over shampoo and over blow dry and things like that so I like to be able to use things that you know aren't going to be too heavy in my hair but still give me this the look and style that I want having a heat protectant and a shine spray in there it's like a two-in-one it doesn't weigh it down like most of them do um, this is by the brand TG this is catwalk all of us use heat tools all of us use products that you're going to find that are going to dry your hair out at some point so do your hair a favor so the next thing that i got which i actually got in january um my mum bought it for me for my birthday and honestly it is probably one of my most used items that i that i have it is my mimco pouch it is the medium size one and it's just got like my little you know wristband there it is in the matte black and it has like the matte black badge as well. Today, for example, I went shopping. Sometimes I just hate taking a handbag. Like it hurts my shoulders. I always end up having more shit in there than like I even need. I just you can chuck your cards in there, you know, just put a few things in there. My lipstick, my phone. And these retail for about $99.95. I have a couple of different colors, to be honest, but I am, this is probably my most favorite because it just goes with everything. On to clothes. So I was in Kmart the other day and I've been looking for a pair of boots that I've been searching for everywhere that happened to be like a unicorn boot, but I still haven't found it. But while I was in Kmart the other day, I picked up a pair of these boots and I thought for winter, they were $20. They look really good with my jeans and um, they look really cool like with black le like black leggings, like leather leggings, um, even some dresses and things like that. And I thought, you know what, for $20, you can't go wrong. Like, came up, man, like, like who doesn't love a bargain? Next thing is I actually bought this jacket from a store called Glue. Um, it is like a puffer jacket. I love how it's actually got like the orange in it, but oh, it's so warm and it kind of reminds me of like Kanye West or something. But yeah, like I bought this jacket and it was, it was actually pretty reasonable, like pretty reasonable priced. It was only like $89.95 or something. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I always look for like just easy things that you can wear. The brand is actually called Glamorous, but like I said, I got it at the glue store in, um, in the city okay and my final product for today is my black opium YSL perfume like this is my most favorite perfume I have ever had in my life been wearing this every single day since I bought it um, as you can see there's none left so I'm actually going overseas in um, two weeks so I'll definitely be picking some of that up again because Every time I wore this, like I found people always seem to comment on my smell. So that's always a good sign, right? But yeah, definitely go check it out. Go smell it. It's gorgeous. Okay, guys, that comes to an end of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to hear that you guys have tried, tested, and loved the products just as much as what I do. Please leave in the comment bar below what your favorites are so I can check them out. I love to hear what everybody is enjoying. So pass it on, share the love, and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and come and be my friend on social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I also have a blog page, so I'll leave in the description bar below 
all those links. Come and be my friend. Come and say hi. Until next time, guys. See you.